When working with watercolor paper, be sure to tape your painting on a cardboard to prevent your painting from buckling. A suggestion, consider painting the background first before you sketch the picture. Wait till it's dry and then sketch the picture using a pencil or chalk. Don't waste your time trying to get the sketch perfect. You can correct it when you're painting. If you didn't paint your background beforehand, now's the time to paint the background. You're using a bright red first and then you're using a darker red just to add some dimension to the painting so it doesn't appear flat. Um, if you don't have a darker red, use some blue to the red that you have and it'll darken it for you. Then wait till the painting is completely dry to add your gold. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to do the white hat, the white shawl that she has around her and the white dress. Paint it white and if you need to, paint it twice in white. Let that dry. Once it's dry, then you can use the black to do a little bit of the framework just to highlight it a bit. The face and arms, use whatever flesh tone you wish. I just used a little bit of the red with brown and a little white to make a tanny color. In this video clip, I'm just touching up some of the white just to brighten it up a bit. Now we do touch-ups. If you notice around the neck and around the arm, you can see some of the white from the paper. I've gotten a little bit of the red and I'm going to just clean it up so that um, the red background hits the arms and the neck.
I didn't show myself doing it, but if you notice, I added a little bit more black around the brim of the hat. For the final part, I will add a little bit of black around the edges just to frame the painting. And I'll add a little bit of white swirly lines just to add some character to it. After that, you can remove the tape. Thank you for watching my video and be sure to check out the rest of my videos. If you have any suggestions, please comment below and please be sure to click like.